different tone to your campaign this time? I went to the website today and I saw the kind of a spoof of uh, let's have a Paul Kandorsky retirement party. He had a party hat on, that kind of thing, and I was soliciting donations. Is that indicative of, of a different tone? Or? Yeah, it, it is. You know, and this is the tone is going to be very simple. You know, and, and this is from my campaigning and what I see with people when I talk to them. The American people, they don't want to hear what the problems are anymore. They know what the problems are. They're, they're feeling them at home. You know, people are struggling to pay their bills right now, and, and, and people are scared. They're not only angry, but they're scared. People do not, they don't want to hear what the problems are. They, they want to know what's your answer, what's your solution. They want answers. They want somebody that's going to go to Washington and, and, and will have an answer. And whether, you know, people agree with me or not, I have lived my life finding a solution. It's just the way I am. I, you know, I, I'm not going there for another job. I guarantee you, if I go to Washington, I'm going to get something done. And it's not going to be for one party. It's going to be for the people I represent. I don't want to be around uh, controlled by party or politicians. I care about people. And, and that's what I plan on doing. And that's what people want right now. They want somebody who's not afraid to fight for them, for fight, to fight for what's right. And, and we need jobs right now. We need a better future. I, have a, I said I have a one-year-old grandson. I am scared about what kind of America are we leaving him. How, how will they pay this debt? What will happen? You know, we, we're fighting, you know, we're, we're involved in, in conflicts around the world. Do any of you feel any safer today than, than you did? I, re, I, remember, I remember growing up, and we used to have these air raid drills and we'd have to put our heads under the desk. And I remember going to bed and my mother would come in and I was only little and, and I would ask her, Mom, are we going to be okay? I was afraid that Russia would bomb us while we were sleeping. And I thought how lucky we are that our kids didn't have to grow up like that. They didn't have to have air raid drills. They didn't have to go to bed and worry at night. Well, I'm going to tell you, I, I don't know if I could say the same thing for my grandson. You know, we have people that want to kill us. We have people that hate democracy. Our borders aren't secure. That worries me. Uh, you know, it, it worries me on, on, on what America's approach is to national security. You know, it worries me, are we fighting the right war? Are we doing everything we can to protect our way of life here. And if we're going to help other countries around the world, don't we have to be strong at home first? You know, we, we're talking a little bit about, you know, we're talking a little bit about the, the, the immigration issue in Temple and, and the professor in, in, at Temple, <clears throat> you know, saying how we, you know, we need to help other countries. And, and I agree, absolutely we do, but we still have, you know, one out of every four homeless in this country is a United States veteran. We let people who fought for the freedoms we enjoy sleep on our sidewalks. And, and you know, I think, you know, there's a lot we can do here, both protecting our national security, securing our borders, and taking care of the people here, finding them jobs, bringing business back to America again. These are the things I wish they were working on in Washington. Um, I hope I have the chance to do that. You're operating under the assumption that Representative Kendrick will be your opponent in the fall? You know, it doesn't really matter to me. To tell you the truth, I've, I've had people have that debate, you know, what would be better for you, you know. And, you know, I stopped thinking about it because I'm not running against them. I'm running for the people, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue running on solutions on what I want to do, what I believe I can do. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. My campaign is going to be about solutions and, and, and what I want to do when I go to Washington and, and how I would approach uh, our, our future. We could fix our problems. There's no doubt in my mind. This is the most innovative country in the world. And I wish we would focus back on, on innovation, on education, on research and development on inventing again, manufacturing again. Uh, I, I'm convinced this country, we, we could fix our problems if we just focus on what the problems are. 
we focused on health care at a time when the country wanted us to focus on the economy. Why would we send the same people back? We're sending, uh, you know, why would we send the same people back? You know, I think it's time to send, some, you know, send some. I think it's good to have a business person uh, with a, with a different background uh, to Washington to come in with some fresh ideas. Someone who's not afraid to stand up, not afraid afraid to fight, has, uh, you know, a record of finding answers and solutions, whether people agree with them or not. Uh, you know, I'm not afraid to stand up. Well, two things. Um, Actually, Bill, do you mind if you ask them what we'll get afterward? Sure. If we wrap it up now, and he'll have some more questions for you. But is there anything while we're still recording that you wanted to mention that you didn't get a chance to talk about? Um, anything you wanted to emphasize or anything you need to get off your chest? <laughs> I, I, I just believe that this election, you know, is, is is one of the most important elections that we've had in, in some time because it's very clear um, you know our country's at a crossroads right now um, so I, you know I, I really do I believe this is a very very important election and um, you know I, I'm, I'm happy to have the opportunity to at least come and talk about some of the some of the issues and I'm sure you know as the campaign goes we'll we'll discuss more uh, but I, you know, I'm I'm encouraged by by the opportunity. I, I truly am. I believe that I can make a difference. I, I say this all the time. I'm I'm um, sometimes I'm naive to believe that I that I that one person can make a difference. And uh, I hope I never lose that uh, that principle.